What is the most obvious lie you have ever been told? We cannot give you a raise right now. But we will compensate you as soon as the budget allows. Turns out when the budget allows is when you already have another job offer and put in your two weeks notice. In high school a buddy told me that he didn't steal our other buddy's watch. He was wearing the watch when I asked him about it. We're not playing favorites. I was picking up a sofa from a guy I found on Kijiji and he stopped me right before leaving to see if I wanted to buy a mirror he was also looking to get rid of. I wasn't really interested but my wife seemed keen so we stopped in the hallway to check it out. He said it was a gift from my son-in-law. It's a beautiful mid-century antique. I'll let it go for $75. He went on about what an amazing mirror it was and even told me pick it up and feel how sturdy it is. I picked it up. It was really heavy actually. And took a peek at the back and saw a sticker from Valley Village with a $30 price tag. I kinda chuckled to myself and asked if he would go any lower than $75. He said I really couldn't. Then I said well, I can see a tag from Valley Village on the back here. We ended up getting the mid-century antique mirror for $15 and me and my wife still laugh about the amazing deal we got on it. Your call is important to us. The company is in a great shape so don't pay any attention to rumors about financial trouble. We will keep your resume on hand and let you know if any other positions open up. As a recent graduate job searching, it hurts. When a co-worker told my own story back to me as his own, twice. As a tax accountant, I'm told lies about how much money people actually made all the time during tax season. My favorite was a guy telling me he's broke because he only makes $35,000 a year in Nix oh my, very reasonable, fee is too much for him. He says this after he asks me if he can deduct the new BMW 5 series he just bought his son all cash. Yeah I did all my homework in like 5 minutes I promise. Holy it this comment blew up. Thanks lol. I can finish this Civ game tonight. Does it count if the person believed me because I told someone the world was in black and white until the first nuclear explosions? That's not a hickey I bruised my neck helping my sister move today. Thank you for the awards. Can't believe my top comment is about my ATX Lomeo. When my little brother mixed like 50 condiments, including sprinkles, ketchup, cereal and stuff, into a bag of popcorn and ate it telling us it was delicious when his face looked like he had just ate 10 extremely sour warheads at once. He later admitted he just wanted us to eat it but we never did. Any lieutenant saying that the platoon can go home early on a Friday if you work hard right now. I did brush my teeth. I swear. My little girl told everyone in the supermarket that our cat died and she was sad. We don't own a cat. I've had toddlers with faces hands clothes covered in peanut butter swear up and down that their brother sister was the one who ate the peanut butter. Also, one of my favorites from a couple of years ago. I didn't write that. Sean. Edit once more. Sean claimed he didn't write that with his hands covered in the charcoal he used to write that. My ex told me he was in a car accident. Totaled his car. Broke a few ribs. He was trying to get sympathy so I would get back together with him. Blaming the accident on me. Since he was distracted after the breakup, he sent me a photo of his car smashed in. I google searched it. First pic of his make model that was wrecked. He formulated the story after the picture. But here's the deal. The wheels didn't match. So I drove by his house that evening. Car was fixed and in his driveway. Oh yes. I paid the shop extra to get me in today. So I could have my car to come see you if you wanted me to. Hahaha <laughs> bro. Loyalty to a company would be repaid. A childhood friend and I met up for coffee one day after not meeting for a few years. He casually let it slip that ever since he earned a black belt he has had to register with the state as a human weapon. I never said you had to sign the document if it wasn't true, says the person with three emails telling me to sign a document even after I said it wasn't true sitting on her outbox. My friend told me that getting a peloton changed her life. I looked up her workout stats and she had used it 4 times in 5 months of owning it. Her husband fared a little better with using it 9 times. Don't know why this annoyed me so much. 
Mom opened the door to my closet weed farm. Her. What is this? Me. Panicking. E. Tomatoes? Her. Right. Be careful with those lamps. She never asked about my tomatoes. Edit. This happened in my apartment. She was looking for something and accidentally opened the closet. My co-worker once tried to convince me that centaurs exist. She said they lived in a gated community in Hollywood and did all the horse stunts for movies. Did we both know it was a lie? Yes. Did she ever admit it was? No and I admire that about her. My friend said he had a body count of 200 plus. He was a slightly fat guy who spends all his free time on video games and hates to leave his apartment. Used to play damned with a pathological liar. Side note. He had the most incredible luck with natural 20 rolls. Another thing about this guy is he always tried to act like a macho tough guy too who had been in serious scrapes and such. So one time. Unprompted. He said under his breath. But obviously wanting us to hear. I've got to get this shrapnel out of me. We were just like. Sure man. Whatever you need to do. Edit. Just remembered another thing he did once that was even materi so we were taking a break and several of us had just stepped away from the table so it was just me. Him. And maybe one other person and he pulled out his phone and did that thing like in the movies where you don't say hi or anything he was just like talk to me. Pretended to have a very brief conversation and ended it with I'm on it or something like that and then hung up. I speak French. Though I'm losing it from lack of use. But one of my college guy friends started dating a girl from France. He was all excited because she could talk to me in her native language and I could help translate. So he brought her to a party at my sorority house and introduced us. I greeted her in French with a very simple, bonjour, bienvenue, comment ava which is just hi, welcome, how are you, blank stare and red face in response. She then said, in what I thought was a kind of strange accent, that she's sorry, she didn't understand me. I looked at the guy and said I thought you told me she was French, because maybe she was a different nationality and he was confused. He looked at her and she just turned and left. He followed then returned a bit later and said he had caught up to her and she started screaming at him in perfect midwestern accented English that he was a jerk for setting her up to look like a fool. He had genuinely been excited that he could introduce her to someone she could talk to so he was blown away by her accusations and then angry that she lied. She apparently felt faking an accent would make her more appealing or something. I would see her around on campus after that but she avoided me like the plague. PBH. I felt bad for her. But if you're going to fake it, at least pick a country with a language you can speak. You're the best I've ever had. Edit. Thank you for the award kind stranger. It wasn't me. I love you after I found out I was being cheated on. She had the audacity to kiss me too. In 5th grade, a friend of ours used to try to convince us he used to hang out with the band Sublime, among other stuff. He said that he was the person featured on the cover of their self-titled album and he used to do drugs with them and even tried heroin once. We were ducking 11 years old and he claimed this all happened 2 years before he even moved to our school. So yeah. A ducking 9 year old did all this wild it. We constantly called Bullet but he would just continue to lie and make up more stuff. We stopped hanging out with him because he was so full of it. My mom after 11 year old me accidentally destroyed her favorite vase by throwing my brother's stuffed animals around the living room. I'm not mad. The cat scratched me. You literally don't own a cat though. My fork fell onto my arms then. I dk. An ex-housemate was the most chronic liar I've ever met. She was also a total nut job who stole from all the housemates and from her workplace. And keyed my car. But here are some of her most memorable lies. Her dad was the ex-CEO of the Commonwealth Bank of Australia. She was having an affair with one of the shift managers at the bar we worked at. He was engaged to someone else. The venue manager tried to sexually assault her. Security from our work knew about it but kept it quiet at her request. She pointed at a wedding ad on a bus, couldn't see the model's face, and said the model was her. There was a car accident in the area that killed several teenagers. She claimed that she was with them that night but got out of the car just before the accident. That she could do a bond clean by herself. The clean to get your rental deposit back. Yeah we had to go back and do it. She didn't do anything. 
that her dad was verbally abusive, her sisters said he never was. She had her license to be a shift manager, was a legal QLD requirement at the time in liquor venues. But she didn't want to tell our workplace cause they would promote her and she didn't want that responsibility. Just 5 more minutes on reddit. My first watch was an Omega and I saved up on high school to get it. One of my good friends back then asked to wear it for one period and would give it back at lunch. He begged and begged so as a HS kid I gave in or couldn't keep saying no I guess. Weak on me. Obviously. Well. He smashed it. Apparently smashed the glass to test it. Gave it back and said it was a fake and that's why the glass cracked and said he didn't do it and it just fell apart. Arsehole became a medical doctor and is now involved in politics and holds state office. I'm still pissed about the watch he never admitted he broke cause he was salty and jealous. D-head then. D-head now. When I was a kid, the internet wasn't a thing so. My friends were whoever happened to live in the neighborhood. One kid was a well-known liar and exaggerator. We were maybe 14 years old at this time. This kid could play guitar and was always talking himself up about it and talking about his band. He actually could play. But his band did not exist. One day, I called him at his house. From my house. I don't remember what it was about. But a few minutes into the conversation. Told me. By the way, I'm in Florida with my band. Just out of the blue. This was before even pagas were a common thing. I called him. At his house. I just said something like, aha, okay, and ended the conversation. I then proceeded to tell all the other kids in the neighborhood. My brother told me I was a dragon and I totally believed him. Man I was a dumb kid, but now I'm a dumb adult. Used to have a friend that spewed bullet all the time. Told me her bio parents, who lived together, were divorced and seeing other people, and also that she had 25 siblings. Brought it up to her mom one time. Which was an interesting conversation. She also told us she had cancer. And then a week later it was miraculously cured. Edit. Spelling. If you tell me the truth. I won't be mad. It will all be over by Easter. I had a friend in college who was a serial lair. Just all kinds of crazy things. That must have satisfied some psychological need. All of it harmless. He told me he developed a theory on how to bend light passing through air and pitched the idea to the physics department. Which set up an experiment and proved his theory to be true. He was a general studies major. I kept pressing him well which professor was it? How did the experiment work? ETC. Just kept digging deeper and changing the subject. When my friend was an infant. Her mother put her two year old sibling in her crib while the mom left the room briefly. When mom came back. My friend was crying and had teeth marks on her forehead. When mom asked the older sibling what happened, she calmly said, she bit herself. My supervisor was pissed off at me after we had some issues and she told me excuse me I want to go to the toilet while she truly went to release her anger to other co-workers. She should have taken them farther for I could hear her. Stupid. My son takes every opportunity to get naked. It's a struggle to get him to even wear underpants half the time. We found him sat around naked one time and asked him where his pants had gone. Bees. Bees came in through the window and stole his pants. Lying little it. Everyone knows that's its gnomes who steal underwear. When I was a public defender my dipit client called up his victim from the jail phone the night before his trial. He said kill repeatedly in an attempt to intimidate her. When I was telling him how stupid this was his excuse was that he was watching Kill Bill and someone changed the channel on the cell block communal TV. That Dumbus is now doing 28 years in prison. My classmate was watching videos during online class while she was unmuted and said it was a math video. We were in health class. There was once my parents told me that Santa wasn't real. I knew he was because I saw him break open the door and with a crowbar and carried a large bag. I told this lie as a 3 yo to my mom, I was coloring the wall in the hallway with my bunny stuffed animal in my hand. I wasn't much of a rule breaker so this one really stuck to my mom. My mom coming into the hallway, what did you do? Me. Looks at bunny bunny did that. Mom. Well then tell bunny that he shouldn't do that anymore because now we have to repaint a wall and that's not nice. Me. Looks at bunny bunny you really can't do that. That's not nice. 
Meanwhile I still had the markers in my other hand. Edit. Wow thank you for the rewards. These are my first ever. I used to work with a guy that was a serial liar. Couldn't tell the truth if his life depended on it. So many lies. But this is my personal fave. Background. Keep in mind that at the NFL combine the 40 yard dash is the standard for speed. 4.5 seconds is great. 4.4 is elite. And the fastest time ever recorded. By a prospect is. I believe 4.24 seconds. This yutz I worked with claimed that back in his army days. He ran a 4.2 flat. In combat boots. Let's just say I'm skeptical. Epstein has committed suicide by hanging himself in his cell. Millipeds have 1000 legs. Trump won the election by a lot. The Easter Bunny. Yay we had to wait for the eggs to be hidden. When I was 16 I'd had a crush on one of my co-workers. And he'd liked me back. I thought things were going good until I asked him if he wanted to go out on our shared day off. He agreed. And then the day of cancelled and told me it was because he needed to take care of his fish. Plot twist here is that I told a few of my friends. Two of which worked with me and the guy. And I went on and on about how rude it is of him to not even give me a believable lie. Those friends were all hanging out and went to Walmart that day. And ran into my crushed out buying food and supplies for his fish. He told them how excited he was about the fish too. I felt like the biggest asshole. A friend told me to come and visit. A 120 mile journey. Because he was off work. He was at work when I arrived. There are horny singles in my area. I did not feed your dog any human food my mom. While my dog pukes and it's all over my house. I will be ready in 5 minutes never. Never has that been the case. I met someone who told me that he drank too much with his friends. Had an alcohol overdose. And died. After he died his friends threw him under a bed where he rotted for 3 days before coming back to life and if I didn't believe him I could ask his friends. I haven't seen him since. I dated a girl who was a pathological liar. I didn't know it was actually a thing. When my dad originally told me about it I thought he was exaggerating. After leaving the relationship I realized how ridiculous the lies were and how stupid I was for believing them but I guess that saying blinded by love is also true. Among the lies. One time she called out of work because according to her, she was on her parents boat out in the ocean and the boat ran out of gas. So they had to call a friend to come rescue her and her family and tow them to shore. I found out later it was actually because she had a party and was wasted. She met Donald Trump. This was back in like 2013, and his associates in Atlantic City. They invited her and her friend to join them as they drove around Atlantic City visiting his casino and eating the best food and drinking top shelf drinks. She didn't have to pay for anything. She got mono when we were dating. But I was fine. She said it was anxiety induced mono according to the doctor which is why I didn't have it. This was around the same time she told me that she met some guy at a party that was hitting on her but she didn't hook up with him and then I found out a week later she did. She was previously engaged, but she called off the engagement. This is actually true, and went to the pawn shop to pawn off her engagement ring and used the money to buy alcohol. She totaled 3 cars in her lifetime, but she was able to convince the insurance company it wasn't her fault and basically got a free car replacement each time. Nobody has more respect for women than I do. Every time my 5 year old swears she has brushed her teeth. Your breath tells me a different story. Kid. An employee of mine took a half day off so he could attend a parent teacher conference in the afternoon. He was supposed to work the morning shift. But then called last minute saying that it had all been bumped up and he couldn't come in in the morning. Then he kept saying that the meeting was getting dragged out all day. Finally showing up around 4pm. He insisted that the school had bumped his appointment up to 10am. All the while forgetting that he was wearing a visitor's badge sticker on his shirt that clearly said checked in 2pm. Blue fire is cold. A high school dropout who insisted she knew more about nutrition than me. A board certified physician. I love you. I'm on my way while lying on the bed contemplating if I should go or not. 
Me coming upstairs to tell kid to hurry up and be ready to go out 15 minutes after already telling him and seeing him on his phone through the slightly open door. Why the hell aren't you ready yet? Get the hell off your phone. I wasn't on my phone. In the early 90s I was at work making $5 an hour. And a co-worker looked me straight in the eye and said he had bought a surface to air missile from China and kept it stored at him mom's house in a different city. WTF dude, that's not even close to believable. If you tell a teacher the bullies will leave you alone. That lie ruined my school life. You can do anything if you put your mind to it. Everything my kid brother has ever said. He is really bad at lying but he does it 24 stroke 7. When I was in high school a classmate told me he makes over $20 an hour part time as a banquet server. I did the exact same job and made $6.30 HR. I told him he was straight up lying to me and he was adamant that he wasn't. Told him to bring me a pay stub and prove it and he said I don't have one. This guy just regularly lied about all kinds of it but this was the first one I remember. I'll never understand compulsive lies. Pretty sure our manager wasn't making 20 an hour FFS.